Well, this is just yet another example of antisocial behaviour here in the UK. Welcome back to St Blasey Model World. Before you get too upset, I have to say that all is uh, not as it appears here. I mean, this model has been vandalised, but um, the culprit was actually a three-year-old girl. And uh, a friend of mine who owns this model brought it to me recently, uh, asking me if there was anything I could do with it. And uh, yesterday I got round to having a go at it. He also brought with him the uh, weapon of choice, um, which is this, and it looks harmless enough until you see that permanent marker. Um, and my initial thoughts were, well, we're heading here for a complete repaint. Uh, obviously, I tried soap and water, but that didn't work. And then I moved on to something else. Um, and I'll explain about that in a second. And we'll just turn this model round because... Uh, the young lady concerned who wanted to improve daddy's model collection by colouring in some of the blank areas had actually gone over this side as well but as you can see it's actually pretty good and we've managed to remove all of the uh, damage I use the word damage for want of a better word so as with uh, anything like this I started with, of course with soap and water but that was a bit of a shot in the dark really um, knowing this was permanent marker I didn't think it would have any effect but you always start with the least aggressive treatment also I was fairly lucky here in that the uh, work artwork hadn't actually gone over any of the decals so uh, even if it did come to a repaint we weren't uh, too badly placed to start with Having got nowhere with soap and water, of course, I then decided to go to my next step, which is my main cleaning weapon in my toolbox, and that is uh, nail varnish remover. Uh, if you're a regular on the channel, you'll know I use it all the time for uh, removing decals, cleaning models that are dirty and dusty, and um, degreasing as well. It's absolutely brilliant. And uh, I recently, uh, my most recent video was actually uh, four model making items you could buy at the corner shop. And if you missed it, there's a link on the screen now. And uh, one of those was nail varnish remover. So with some success, we got the other side cleaned. And I'll just show you now on camera a little bit of how we dealt with this particular piece of vandalism. So I've now got a cotton bud drenched in uh, nail varnish remover and I'll try and do this real quick one handed as we go. Um, you could use tissue I suppose for this but I didn't want to spread out the uh, damage any f further than, than I could help. And uh, so that was uh, why we used nail varnish remover on a cotton bud rather than a piece of tissue. And you can see there that it's already starting to come away and with a bit more work the whole process will be complete so there we are um, not a video I was intending to make I have to say but it just seemed a good uh, piece of information to share with uh, anybody who suffers from over enthusiastic children because the real uh, the real moral of the story is keep your models and your permanent markers and your children well separated hopefully you won't be in the same position so there we are that's it and a real, real short one just a bit of fun really just to explain something that happened to somebody and how we got around it we were able to get this model uh, fully restored uh, or we will be once we finish the process and uh, great news for the owner that's it take care stay safe see you next time on St Blasey Model World